Hello, party people. Hello, it's Randy for Thunder Horse Ascendant. I'm here today in the upstairs because the downstairs is flooded. So, <laughs> the show must go on. Here we are. I'm using a little different setup today, things and stuff. Lighting might not be the best, but we're going to do what we can. I hope you're all having a lovely, spectacular, amazing beating day. We have for us Project 4 from Bargain Bead Box, Mountain Majesty. We gotta get going on this, uh, so we're gonna have to do it here. This is just what we're gonna have to do. Things and stuff. Let's get on with the video. Down to the mat, get this party started. Here we are, my party peeps, down on the mat. This is project four from Bargain Bead Box. Um, this is going to be utilizing the paperclip chain that they've provided and a few beads. We're just gonna make a double strand, need a little bit of beading wire, and we'll be ready to rock. So, let me show you the beads that we are working with today and hope that this lighting is gonna work out. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so here's our paper clip chain. I've got a few crystals. We're not gonna need all the crystals. I've already cut these two pieces um, of the chain with just two links on them. We're gonna utilize those as earrings. And then I have the faceted um, Jasper here. So I am gonna go ahead and get some tools out um and we're gonna get started on this all right guys so first thing that we're going to do is we are going to um zoom out just a little bit here i'm going to split these guys i don't know if we'll need to use all of them but i'm going to split them regardless because we're going to have two parts to our necklace and so now we should be even, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, two, four, six, eight, 10. Oh. So now we have 11 over here and 11 over here. And I've got a few crystals. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some uh, 22 gauge wire and I'm just going to wind these up. Easy busy. I'm just going to get a hold of the end of the wire here and I am going to create a loop. And before I close my loop up, I am going to attach it to one end of the chain. Now, I have not measured the chain or anything. I will do that when the time comes. Oh. By the way, I should I should mention that Thunder Horse Descendant is a working studio, so if you hear some commotion today, it's just cats. It's just cats running around doing cat things. That's what they're doing up here. Normally, we would be downstairs where they are locked out of for most of the day. So, uh, but not today. Today we got we got cat business happening. Hmm. All right, then I'm just going to start putting on my stones. Now, you could put these on. You could do like stones and a crystal spacer, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do, you could do a little pattern like I'm going to do. I'm going to do three and then a spacer. And then I'm going to do one and a spacer. And then I'm going to do one and a spacer and one and a spacer, one and a spacer, one. one spacer and then three stones that I have left. So 
So let's see how she looks. Looks pretty good. One, two, three. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a loop down here. Ooh, I hope I have enough wire. I don't know if I have enough wire, to be honest with you. So I'm just maneuvering the tail around. I believe I do have enough. It's just maybe not the most comfortable of situations. And then I squished my loop, so I gotta make that. Gonna get that back into place here. If I can. Alrighty, so we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. So now, all we're going to do is we're going to do the second portion of this, right? So it's still on the long chain. I'm not concerned about that at all. I'm going to get a little more wire for this side because I don't want to run out. <laughs> I'm just going to start this one the same way I did the other side. And what I'm going to do, let's start on this side. I'm going to count one, two, three, four. Mm, let's, do, let's do four. One, two, three, four. Going into the fourth paper clip chain link. Okay, easy peasy, get that going. And then I'm just going to, now you could create the same, you could create the same loop here, or the same pattern if you want to. Or you could make it smaller. So it kind of depends on what you want to do. Um, I think that I will create the same one So I got a three and a spacer. And then one in a spacer, one in a spacer, one in a spacer. One in a spacer, and then, oop, I'm just about to drop that guy. One, <laughs> and a spacer, and then three beads.
Okay, so let's see how. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. So it'll just be doubled up. So again, I'm just going to go here to the end, create a loop. I'm going to place this loop into the fourth. One, two, three, four. Paper clip piece of chain here. Whoop, dropped it. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to get a hold of it and wrap it down. I am leaving a little bit of space so that this guy can bend. <laughs> you guys, it's been so long since I beaded standing up. I used to only be standing up, if you can imagine such a thing. Okay. So now, well, there's a little sunlight for us. So now we're going to check it out and see what we got going on. Get gravity involved here. Make sure we're doing okay. I'm just kind of bending these wires into place. Making sure everything is hanging correctly. Making sure there's no twists in the chain. And if there is, I'm just adjusting my loop so that it works out a little bit better. Okay. So I'm liking where we're going with that. And so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to measure how long I want this to be. So I think I want this one to hit at like 18, 19, but I am going to use a lobster claw so that I can, you know, adjust. So this one would probably be like, let's not worry about that one. Let's worry about this one and let's make this one 18. You know what let's do 20 inches because we can always make it smaller with a lobster class by just attaching to parts of the chain what we can't do is make it bigger so let's do 20 inches so that means here is where I'm going to cut now if I recall correctly I'm gonna have to get my go get my junk cutter so I'm gonna put this right here so I know Because if I recall correctly, I think they said this is a uh, stainless steel chain, yeah? So, yeah, it is. Yeah. So I can cut it. Go. A little bit of a wiggle. Oh, no, I tore the whole thing up. Let me see what I got here. It's a little rough. There we go. It's a little bit rough, but we got her. Okay. Got it. So this is our additional chain. And then all we're going to do is we're going to attach our clasp onto here. So you know what? These are brass 
and I think that I should use a stainless steel um, option since the chain is stainless steel and I don't have that up here so I'm just gonna leave it for right now obviously we would just attach with a jump ring a stainless steel jump ring your stainless steel clasp to the end right here and then you would just utilize this as a connection point but since I don't have that prepared right now I'm just gonna leave it like so and then we're just gonna move on to the earrings um yeah I like how this turned out I think it's really cute then you could bend this one to kind of give it a little more like of a lay or you could just do it like that that's cute I like all that so I really do like how this turned out. It's quite cute. I like the chain. The chain helps it to lay appropriately. So that's cool. And we're just going to move on to the earrings. The earrings are just going to be super easy. These are just going to be... Um, I did not save any stones for these earrings. Um, I didn't feel the need to. I think they'll be cute enough with the little mountains. And so all we do is grab us a little piece of wire and we're going to create a little loop here on the end okay easy enough we're going to put our mountain on there wind him up Yeah. I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> it's hold on. I don't like the way this loop turned out. Let me try that again. Hi, Winter. Winter's just rubbing on my leg. Just, she's just like, oh, are you doing beading in the upstairs? We love that for you. Hey, don't scratch that. No, no, no. She just meowed at me. Hey! Psh. Shyster. That Winter cat, she's a little shyster, tell you what. She's like, what? What are you doing? She's like, this is my new table. <laughs> She always thinks everything is for her. She's like, oh, this is for me. She's like, oh, your lunch? That's for me. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we got that on there. I'm just going to put a crystal or two. Let me see. Two is kind of an interesting number. I think I'm just going to put one. I mean, like, how many do we need? I'm just going to go with the one. And create another little loop. And then I'm just going to attach it right onto this chain portion. This is just two lengths of the chain. Now, I don't remember if we cut these pieces of chain during the plan video or what. If I was just going to be like prepared for this or what happened, but they're already cut for some reason. <laughs> I must have cut them at some point. Uh, so I'm just going to tuck that in very carefully, not to break our crystal. And now we have our earring ready to go. Again, I am probably going to put um, a stainless steel earring wire on there um, once I can track everything down in my studio. Maybe I'll finish them up and then I'll show you a picture when they're done because, you know. So here we go again. If you missed it the first time, I mean, the show must go on. This is where we're at with ourselves right now. <laughs> Gotta love Minnesota, right? 
So we're just gonna wire wrap this on. Do about three wraps on there. Trim them up. Tuck it in. And put on a crystal. Oh yeah, it's mowing day. The mayor lives across the street from me and he has the peoples come out on Tuesdays to do the mowing. So if you hear some loudness, don't worry. It's just the mowing guys. Winter, stop doing that to the table. You're shaking the camera. Shyster girl. Alrighty. Oh yeah, those are cute. I like those a lot. Okay. So, I will have to run down into the floodplain <laughs> and find us some um, stainless steel uh, findings and things. But here's the finished product. To be quite honest with you, this is super easy. I really like it a lot, and I think that'll have a big impact. Um, I am going to to try to find a lobster, a stainless steel lobster, and then you can utilize this as like additional chain if you wanted to make it shorter. I think that these are cute that you can bend them to whichever way you want, and with gravity involved, they actually look very nice. I like the little mountains, so this actually turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to, minus, you know, not having any findings on it. But I trust that you guys are able to to decipher that whole endeavor. So there's the uh, the drawing, and there's the actual finished product. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you all have a lovely, spectacular, amazing beating day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.